I am serious, it's so, it's amazing how they are. It's unbelievable. I have no words. I have no words. This is unbelievable. Nice blue sky today. Very lucky. With a small spatch of the <laughs> See that there's one dark tiny <laughs> cloud there. We are officially going up into the mountains. The highlands of Negros to an area that was uh, really affected by the flooding of course. River communities. So we caught up with the bus or the truck with all the supplies. So we took a quick stop here with this stunning view before we head up into the uh, highlands. We've got that. And that's how you know you're in Sugarlandia. Sugarlandia. Welcome to Mabinai. I was here about three years ago I think and this is where we found the sea of clouds spectacular nature but today we're gonna go give out relief goods for the flood victims here along the river all right made it to the beautiful town of Mabina up in the highlands we're stopping with the uh, police to get an escort with us we made it to, I forgot the Baranga name, I'll put it here. Yeah, it's so hard to pronounce. But uh, there's a river right behind us and flooded about two, three meters. You can actually see it on the houses over there. But uh, the main damage is just by the river where there's, you know, no concrete houses. So we'll take a look at that later. But first we're gonna deliver some goods. We have a line for kids and then adults. They actually don't need water, but they need containers. Yeah. So the adults have little tickets that the barangay captain said the worst families with no houses. So this is the barangay captain's house, and he gave the tickets to the one family each. You know? Yeah, I, I can see they're holding like a pink ticket. So the people that are getting food here and supplies, they actually lost their house, like completely gone. <laughs> Look at this here. Look at this there. <laughs> nice style. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> wow, look at there. <laughs> so we got the Tarsas, we got some divers of Dawid. Very good group. They help us so much. And once again, this is the easy part, delivering it. This only takes like 30 minutes maximum. It's a prep work that takes all day long, which you don't see in my video and uh, the guy's video. What they're doing, like the prepping is the biggest part. This is the easy, so that's another thing why you don't see me handing out goods here. I'd rather show some uh, other guys doing it, give them some credit. My own Budak. You speak Ilonko here or Pisaya? It's Pisaya. Ah, okay. Sir. So you see my own Budak. Look how you got tickets. Nice. Oh, it's Brigitte here. Hello. <laughs> Oh God.
Okay, that went very smoothly. Very, very good job. Shout out to the, you call that PNP or shout out to those guys for helping us. And uh, now we're gonna take a look at the river area. You can already tell here, trees down, the water coming down, full of debris, of course. Look at the size of that thing. It's a whole bamboo unit right there. Look how big it is, guys. <laughs> it's burning. Oh. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> the, the, the line. Oh, the line. Oh, oh the, my god. The, I can see it. Yeah. By the, uh, the line. Yeah. See that, guys? So this is the water line. And here's the river. Like, can you imagine how high it is? That's unbelievable. My house is gone. My house. There. This was your house there? Yeah, there. I'm so sorry, Kuya. What's your name? Raymart. Raymart. Oh my god. Where were you? When did this happen? Where were you? There. You were in the house? Yeah. This was the sorry, sorry. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's insisting that we have coffee. Because I make a joke when she said we can come to your house to see it and you have coffee. She said yes and now I have the coffee. Are you serious? I am serious. It's so, it's amazing how they are. It's unbelievable. Here you have the house. <laughs> Guys, this is unbelievable. They, they lost their house but they're still inviting us for coffee. I have no words. I have no words. This is unbelievable. If that does it give you a good impression about the hospitality of the people here in Philippines, then I don't know what does. This is probably the best example you can ever give and I'm probably gonna remember this moment for the rest of my life because how can someone that has lost everything invite you for a coffee right away like come to our house like this is just I have no, no, I have no words man this is unbelievable just be speechless yeah. <laughs> they're in the pa ah, up, up, up there, there. Oh, up there but you the barangay your mom was other up. people are go away going there your no, mama's up there just because you saw the water coming you and my grandma in, uh, jeez they were ha they were hanging other lives up there oh. where they were up on that roof babe that's crazy. And midnight and dark, dark. Yeah, mass. midnight. It was midnight. Yeah. yeah. It's dark. Yeah, it's it's almost normal when you think in in Darwin we had also begins really strong wind at midnight, midnight one yeah. o'clock to two o'clock. Yeah, I was I couldn't sleep. It was so loud. Yeah. You cannot go out because the wind is very yeah, it's yeah, falling, yeah, yeah. falling items, falling. debris. It's dangerous. Yeah. We had we had strong wind, but not like here. So it's very yeah. mixed about the operation when everything happened. For example, here there wasn't much evacuation, but like in our last video, the uh, actually when the wind was coming in daytime, the army went to the coastal communities and told everybody to evacuate. So. That was that was really great. Look at this, guys. This is the power line. <laughs> You're not scared to touch it? <laughs> no. That is crazy. Yeah. Did they tell you how long it, until you get the electricity back? Yeah. How many days do you have to wait now? I think next month. Next month, yeah. We found out that they don't have any electricity yet until maybe next month so we choose this place to give uh, solar panels and maybe around five solar panels so that they at, yeah, least have a at least five houses we're gonna give to see they already constructed some framing there's one frame so we're gonna definitely give those three houses at okay, least okay let's go what's this hi thank you thank you okay. and it works all night so yeah. it charges during the daytime and then you have light all night long. Salamat kay. Thank yeah, you also, tayo. Also, also. So Cheryl is gonna <laughs> show them how to set it up. Oh! It's already charged. Yeah, but not yet much. Yeah, I need to charge it more. Yeah. Ma'am, what's your name ma'am? Susan. Susan Quino. Susan Quino. Yes. This is her 
house after the flooding nothing more left so collecting some uh, metal sheets yeah. guess for roofs and uh, solar. Yeah, solar we made it to Lumbagan Barangay I think it's called and uh, you can see I think they rebuilt this house this one here for example it's already been like over three weeks since this happened so actually the the crops it's maybe it will take time because they are going first their houses House. shelters yeah. so you don't crop yet yeah they don't put crops yet no it's crops yet wow yeah. so it will harvest like three months three months but yeah. all the crops are the flooding yes all the gone. crops because the water mm. is over, like, like over, this. overflow this one overflow uh, uh, it's still uh, wow <laughs> <laughs> this one is done. We go to the next one. We're actually getting some uh, cooking supplies there. So this is our convoy or caravan. <laughs> and there's a bridge and a river. I think this is going to be our last and final stop today. For the fourth one. Uh, let's see how many families uh, need people rebuilding. They said there's going to be about 10 family houses that uh, got lost here. It's just, it's hard to believe how high the water was. Can you believe it? Like, here's the river. This is like 15, 20 meters at least. Yeah, this, guy, this wall where we parked, they said it was over their wall and into their yard, like a mud, uh, a mud slide into their yard. That's, that's like a hundred foot tall. Uh, it's, I can't but believe it. Crazy. You might also ask uh, how do we know which person, which uh, family needs help? That's because we have a local, two local people from this municipality with us today and they were identifying people in the last couple of days and going between the barangays and even handing out coupon tickets for those. Wow, really need the most. That's it, guys. Time to uh, add up some stuff and then we drive back.